I'm Christelle de Villiers and I attended the Diversity and Acceptance Grow Group with Niamega. I think it was a very timely time to attend something like that with the media being full of wokeness and these rights and those rights and these people being triggered and those people fe feeling left out. And in South Africa, bringing it closer to, to our context with protests in the streets about hair advertisements and a private matric farewell. So it was, it was a good time to hear not what the, what the media says and what people's opinions are about this, but what the Bible says about diversity and acceptance. And what's amazing is throughout the whole Bible, from, from Genesis all the way through to Revelation, it tells the same story of God may, who made all people in His image and who desires all people to come to Him and to have a relationship with Him and to know His glory. So from Genesis in, and, the, and the law and the, the Torah, God always, like all the laws were about the poor and the destitute and, and the outcast. They had to, the Israelites had to take care of the widows and the orphans and the foreigners and the poor among them. And the same went right through to the time of Jesus. He, he reached out to the unlovable. He touched the lepers before he healed them, not shying away from their leprosy, not shying away from whatever it is that, that other people cast him out for. So what are we to do? We are to embrace everyone because God made everyone and there's no difference between the color of my skin or... And obviously it becomes a little bit more difficult with things that's it's not really biblical like homosexuality and things that people kind of chose like transgender which becomes a lot more difficult in a church context because we don't really, we're not really exposed to that in the church as much. But what does the Bible say about that? And how do we approach people? So it, it, I find it very, very useful. It's also good to reflect on what about my own culture, my own race, and my own identity, or racial group identity is to be celebrated. And what is to be redeemed and what should be rejected and to celebrate the differences between our cultures because South Africa has got such a, a richness of diversity and so many cultures. And it makes the, it's like a fruit salad with or a green salad more with all these different things in there, all these ingredients and everything like you can still taste the cucumber and you can still taste the tomato and you can still taste the feta and whatever else you throw in there, it's, it's separate but it's, it comes together beautifully to make this amazing salad and it's the same with, with our country, actually with the world but especially like bringing it back home to, to South Africa. There's so many things that we can celebrate about each other's cultures and so many things that we can learn from each other. And the only way that we can do that is if we sit around the table and we listen. And we have a... I don't think we can do this without the Bible as the base to work from. Because if we don't have that, where are we going to latch onto? Where are we going to find common ground? So yes, it was very good to to explore what the Bible says about diversity and acceptance and what our reaction to that should be.